Hello everyone, it's Sizzleclops and this is Ignomatica 2 Skyblock. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I'm having I'm having an utterly amazing day. Hope you guys are too. We're gonna get back to this pretty cool pack here. Just kind of get her done. I have to say, this is my favorite pack since AE the AE2. <laughs> Age of Engineering. There you go. And uh yeah, I'm loving this pack. It is just really cool, really awesome. And really fun. It's taken a lot of time. Most of it's because I'm building so much, I think. But <laughs> anyway, we're pretty much near the end of all the big builds, I think. So yeah, that's pretty awesome, I think, as well. So yeah, I, I've done a lot of between episodes. Let's kind of take a look here. I guess I set up my multi-blocks. What am I doing? Stop hitting buttons. Uh, <laughs> I set up my multi-blocks for the Tumen Altar, which I came to the conclusion we didn't actually need. We'll kind of cover that in a little bit when we get over to this area. Uh, also, the Starlight Diffuser. I set up the multi-block for this, so I just followed the book, right? So... Really easy, same as I showed at the end of the last video. I did automate the creation of Starlight a little bit, not massively. So I just have five light wells. I have some conduits. It's just pulling out. I actually meant to have this set to brown and that to brown. It'll work either way. But this way, it, it, it fills up this first. And then when, you know, once it gets in here, it tries to fill up the ender tank. It just makes it a little more clean, right? So it's on channel. So... Anyway, it's doing its thing. I can throw in some aquamarine. I can throw in some rock crystals, whatever I have. And, uh, just make a starlight because, well, this thing uses starlight. So, yeah, something we'll have to deal with at some point, I'm sure. Over here, I'm growing some crystals. We'll cover that later. And, uh, yeah, let's go over here. <laughs> let's just go this way. Anyway, over here, I actually built a little area for the Thongcraft. So, didn't go real fancy. And I don't think we need a lot of room. I don't think we're going to have to do a ton of automation with this mod. So, yeah, I think this will be all we need. So... I think this will work out. So just a little altar kind of set up here. Looks kind of clean. Use some of this void stone. Isn't that what it's called? Yep. And uh, yeah, looking pretty sweet. Pretty simple. Didn't want to go too complicated. I got enough complicated builds going on. So yeah, we'll kind of worry about that later, I guess. I haven't done anything with this area yet. I did throw this here. So this is the resource fisher from the uh, industrial foregoing. I actually did some puffer fish, which is cool. And I actually getting some other stuff as well. I don't think we need any of this. <laughs> this thing's actually really easy. We already have the machine frames. I think I took a couple like iron, um, iron uh, gears and stuff. It was really simple. Yeah, nothing really to it. So set it up, set it over some water. It tells you right there. Three by three, automatically start fishing. And that's what it does. It just does what it says there. I really just need that puffer fish for a little bit of blood magic. Over here, you're going to see a big giant build. This thing's actually pretty crazy. Really happy how this turned out. So this thing is just kind of epic on scale. It actually kind of looks like an eyeball. <laughs> so if you go there, you got to look there. You can see the reactor's in the dead center, and it's doing its reactor thing, producing 3 million RF tick, which is, well, fantastic. It uh, looks pretty awesome. So, yeah, kind of went for it. To, I kind of wanted to look like an eye, but, it, you know, kind of looks like the Death Star. It also kind of looks like a Pokeball. And it also looks like an eye. So, yeah, whatever you want it to be, it can be. <laughs> Turned out really awesome, though. Uh, again, just a whole lot of the void stone. So we just get a whole lot of that in here. So, yeah, pretty awesome. Took about three hours for the structure builder to build that. So it wasn't a fast thing. Uh, down here, we have a pyramid. This is actually for blood magic. Uh, this is going to be where we actually work first today. So, yeah, again, I used the structure builder. This time, I didn't let it build it. I just let it kind of line it out for me. And then I just kind of placed the blocks everywhere where the ghost blocks were kind of build it all up there's actually a mod mob mod no there's no mod there there's a mob farm right here and it's actually just pushing mobs into the center uh so we can get blood really easy we're actually gonna go down there kind of do some work really quick take a look at the altar here uh the altar is still tier three i kind of have it lined out to get us to tier five so this is everything we need for tier five except for we need more blank runes or whatever runes we need I did make some runes capacity, runes of sacrifice. Runes of sacrifice make it so when you kill mobs on top, you kind of get the blood. So I went ahead and made this as well, which is the dagger of sacrifice. And uh, this makes it so you can one-shot said mobs. So I can just go bam, and it kills them. Bam, kills them. Pretty awesome. Uh, so if I want to go ahead and kind of make a slate here. I never really showed how I automate slates either. I kind of do this. I go here, I go to the filter. I don't want to make that slate. <laughs> I'd rather make, uh, I need some more. No, I probably need some more imbued. It's gonna do like four of those, I suppose. Go in there. Oh, I didn't grab the right ones again. I need to grab one of you for the filter. So let's grab. Sooner or later, I'll do the right thing. It, it just, <laughs> it's like a thousand monkeys at a typewriter kind of deal. And we have four blank slates. It's got the filter set. I just take the filter, kind of throw it in there, and go over here. Make sure this set to one. There we go. Throw those in there. It only lets one in at a time, and it starts draining the blood. Right? Well, it should. Maybe. Is that actually working? Yeah, okay. First, it didn't seem like draining it. 
But uh, it drains the blood, it makes it, it only will pull when it gets to the right level of slate. And uh, yeah, just the easiest way to do it kind of early on without any kind of real automation. But uh, I can take this now, so the blood's actually gone down a thousand. And just start killing them, and it just one-shots them. <laughs> it uh, gives us a good amount of blood. I think it's giving me about five or six hundred. That's because I have 12 of these runes of sacrifice. Let's actually go to rune here. Check that out. You go to the rune. No, that's efficiency. Augmented capacity. I didn't make runes of capacity. I made eight of those. So we can get up to... I needed 25,000... Um, what you call it there? Uh, essence to be able to make more of the orbs. But uh, I needed... Uh, yeah, the rune of sacrifice. This one right here. Took some crystal swords. Wasn't a big deal. Got it done. And, uh, yeah, pretty awesome. The only thing is, if you're making any other rune... You can use any orb, like literally any orb, except for this particular recipe here. So the Rune of Sacrifice actually needs the Apprentice Orb, so it actually confused me for a few minutes. I wasn't able to craft it. Also went ahead and made this here. This is the Magician Orb. This is Tier 3. Just took a block of Thaumium and then 25,000 LP, which is why I needed this up to around there, right? So it's at 26 right now. But, uh, yeah, works really good. <laughs> Handles my blood issues right now. I don't have to stab myself constantly. I can just kind of sit here, kind of whack some mobs, and uh, the drops actually get pulled in here. Uh, you'll see here I have a whole bunch of demonic will, because I was farming will at one point. And uh, now I have it kind of automated. So you see up here I actually have Tartarics in here that are actually full. These ones have, what, 1,022, 1,024? Uh, these are just upcrafted, right? So you kind of do them all in the Hellfire Forge. We did this one yesterday. Next one you have to get it, get one up to 60 will, because it only holds 64. It'll drain 20, so I had to do that four times. I did this level manually. Then after I got to the lesser, I actually did these automated. So we got minimum 240, 50. That's what it takes to get it to the common. Uh, the way I automated that is actually super simple. I'll show that right now. Let's grab one of these sentient swords here. Take that, throw that in here. Sweet. Uh, always on. I want that on left click, right? There we go. Is that going to go? There we go. And it'll just start getting, hopefully, will. <laughs> it's a little slow at this damage, but you'll notice if I put it in there a second ago, like, it's only at, what, 7 damage. If I take that, it actually pushes up to 9. <laughs> and uh, the more will that's in there, the more it will kind of, you know, faster will kill things. And it's a little weird, too, the way the will works. It kind of drops down, then goes up, then drops down, goes up. It will gain. It just, it's weird. It just kind of plays this upsy downsy game. There you go. Drop, jumped up to 50 there. And uh, over time, it'll just get uh, all the will, right? So it actually max them out. The only thing you have to do, because if I actually throw this one here, it'll start using that one. It always wants to use the one highest up, right? So it'll do the little bouncy, uppy, downy thing. That's what I'm going to be the tactical term, I guess, for that. You always want to make sure things are in the right slot, you know what I mean? So the sword always here. That's why that's upper left. Left click and entity. And uh, yeah, anyway, this is definitely a thing. I don't know. Oh, doesn't like killing the small guys, but that's not a big deal. Anyway, that's all I did with Blood Magic. So I just kind of got that going just so we can get blood a lot easier, a little less manual, and the will. I didn't want to have to do that hands-on at all. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's throw that in there. Actually, I think I need a couple of those. I actually think I need two of those and one of these. So let's grab that. And now we're going to do a little crafting here. Uh, we need to get this item. We're still going for our Iridescent Altar. So let's go to the Iridescent, and I guess Altar. Check that out. So we have most of the stuff here. We still need this Elemental Affinity region. We still need this Draft of Angelus. We need these two lenses, and then we have everything. Well, we have to make the four gems, but they'll only take a second. Uh, the first one we're going to get to is this, though. This Elemental Affinity region. It's all going to be done in the Hellfire Forge, and it's going to actually use one of the Tartarics. But we need to make these sigils. So I actually have the recipes, I think, mainly set up. Uh, we're going to have to grab one of those. Let's do that. And uh, you could repair that sentient sword. I just have a bothered. I just don't see the point. But uh, to each their own. There is an anvil you can make. I think it's this one. I'll actually show you real quick. Anvil. You could use this for repair. This one actually takes power. And uh, you could probably just use that. So definitely an option. The other one takes lava. Anyway, let's do this. Let's grab you. Let's uh, throw you in there. Throw you in there. And do that. This is going to give us a air sigil. The air sigil, I think, is just feather falling. <laughs> Nothing we really need, but we do have to make the sigil here. Next one I think is going to be the water sigil. I'm actually going to make two of these because uh, we're going to use one for the crafting. Then I actually want one for myself because basically what it does is takes a thousand blood out of your blood network and uh, places water in the world, which is actually pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's grab one. I guess we can grab that as well. 
I'll do this one later because we are going to have to do the arcane ash crafting with that as well. So let's kind of pull that out. Let's go to those buckets. Uh, what else do we need here? Let's grab this one. I think this one is going to be for the lava sigil, which is the exact same thing as the last one. So <laughs> it places lava in the world, I think, for a thousand LP. I guess we could check that real quick, but uh, not really that big a deal. Do that. So we've got our regents now, so that's pretty cool. I'm going to make that one as well because I want to make one for myself for that as well. Do that. And we can wait on those ones. Let's go ahead and grab the rest of this junk out of here. Get rid of you. And uh, actually make this next part of this. So we actually have to do some arcane ash crafting. Which I actually think is, you know, it's in my bag, isn't it? That is my, not my bag. This is my bag here. I may get rid of the bag because I'm getting confused now between the buttons. And then, especially since I have them beside each other. Anyway, let's go to, I guess, use on the air regent. So we need to use the air regent. Then we've got to use a reinforced light on it. So let's actually, they must have been all reinforced late. Let's keep them both, because I thought one was uh, at least. That's just the reinforced. Oh no. Okay, I do have reinforced late. Okay, I was all worried for a second. Anyway, let's go ahead. Throw in. Did I throw anything in there yet? I can't remember. You can break this. If there's items in there, it'll actually come out too. Uh, no, this is the problem. I need to drop a lava. There we go. Let's go ahead and put down a water region. And use the slate. Wait a second. Which one is that? Let's go back to Sigil. There we go. And uh, I guess let's go to water. <laughs> See what we need here. So we did need one for a blank Sigil. Or sorry, blank slate. So let's do Arcane Ashes. Water. Blank slate. There we go. So that'll make that. That'll take care of that one. That should be pretty cool. Actually, while we're doing this, let's go ahead and work on this as well. Because we actually have two more recipes to get going here. Uh, this one's going to make us our Biting region, which is going to make it so we make our Bound Blade and get Blood Shards. And uh, we're going to make another one here too, because this is an add-on mod uh, with Kopesh. It's called Adibus. It's going to make us a real good version of this Dagger Sacrifice, so that is pretty cool as well. Let's go and check this one, double check it. Let's go here. So I would need a blank as well, so yeah, totally, totally wrong about things. Let's do that. So that right there. Sweet. And I think these are actually Arcane Ash Crafts as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So we do that, do that. Get all this crafting done. And then kind of move on there. So we've got our first two sigils. Let's go ahead and grab, I think, the Air Regent. I want to double check this one now. This one was this, so <laughs> I thought I might have been crazy. Let's do that. There we go. Let's get rid of our slates for now. And uh, yeah, we've got everything we need for that. We're going to need that one piece of obsidian there. And then we can kind of craft this all up. So... This will give us the... Uh, I don't even know the name of that item we were making, to be honest. <laughs> we'll get it here in a second. It was uh, Elemental Affinity Region. So we have that one. This one is only just for Sigil as well. So Sigil of Elemental Affinity, which I think is an upgraded version of the Air one, actually. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, do these recipes. So we're going to grab that. We're going to grab the Binder Region. So that right there. We're going to get a big fancy one now. We're going to use the Diamond Sword. And this is going to give us our bound blade. Then we'll be able to kill mobs. I'm actually going to go and turn this off. Let's do that. How far did that get? Only 130. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little random, but it does finally go up. And I don't have to do it. I should just do a thing where I pipe in the swords. Or set up. I guess I could set up the auto repair too. Anyway, you can take this thing. You can shift and right click on it. It'll actually turn into a bound blade. And it says current order uh, system collapse. So we actually have that now. Let's go ahead and make this other one though as well. So let's go put that right there. Grab this diamond kopesh. This thing wasn't difficult, maybe simple. And uh, it's an AOE version of the actual dagger sacrifice. Helps if I actually put the region in first. Let's do that, that, that. There we go. That is pretty awesome. So if you take this puppy, so the bound blade, we should every once in a while when we kill a mob. So it's not going to be every time, mind you. We should get um, blood shards. And it's kind of what we need here. We actually need one for this and one for our next level orb, I think. I think we can actually get to the next level orb here. Yeah, we need 40,000 LP though. So not that big a deal, but uh, definitely something we're going to have to do. I also need, I think, another 16 to be able to make all the blood orbs. But I actually have to sit on the top of these pillars here. So that's kind of how that works there. But, uh, just something you're going to have to do here, right? So just do that. Get a fair amount of them. Should be good to go. Uh, this Kopesh though, let's try this puppy out. This is the one I'm actually really interested in. How much blood's in there right now? 12,000? Boom. 
a whole bunch of them dropped. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Why isn't this one dying? There we go. There we go. We get 4,000 LP just with a couple sword flashes. So yeah, it does the same thing except for AoE. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. But, um, yeah, that's what we have here. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this stuff off. Well, maybe not those buckets. That's the one thing I want to keep there. Get rid of all that junk. Kind of get to the next part of it. Next part is going to be this alchemy table. So alchemy and uh, table. This one uses blood in your blood network, which is the blood inside the orb. To put blood in the orb, you just literally fill this with blood and kind of fill that up, right? So if I take it, put it right there, they'll start draining. You see the particle effects. That is blood in the network. The only way you can really see that is uh, with this divination sigil. You see there, we got 149,000 in there. We got a good amount. But, uh, we're going to go ahead and throw that in there. Then look at our recipe. Let's go to iridescent altar. Maybe not alat. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So we need to make this, this draft evangelist. So we need this neurotoxin. That's actually what I needed uh, this puffer fish for. Throw that in there. And if you go to the recipes on these things, you actually see each one actually has a set amount of LP it takes. So this one's quite high, but the neurotoxin was only a thousand LP. So we got that one now. I'm gonna grab this one. I think this one was for plant oil. So let's go ahead and just drop those off there. Put that there. That one's gonna go up and uh, go to the next step. So it's really basic stuff. So I know a lot of people just don't do much with blood magic, but uh, we're not gonna have to do like hundreds of these. This is gonna be literally, I think, a one-time thing. I don't. Oh. We can use it to double the Gaia Spirits later on. Oh, we have it for something else. Oh, we are going to have to automate this some way. So I don't even know how automatable this table is. Although there might be a ritual we could do for it later. Okay, that's cool. Go there, take that. We have our Neurotoxin. We need the Antiseptic. And we just got the Plant Oil. So we're just going to grab the next part of the recipe here. Which I think is all this stuff. I can craft all this stuff too. I don't even have to grow it anymore. Uh, just all of the essence, right? I could even make sugar canes and get it ground down to sugar, no problem. Uh, what do I need here? Okay, plant oil in there and the gold nugget. There we go. Get that one done. And uh, what do we need for the last one? I don't even remember. Oh, a shard, a fermented spider eye. Grab you, grab you, grab you. Sweet. Grab that. And I feel like I'm missing one item here. Oh, yeah, the blood shard. That was the whole point of going to get it, right? Anyway, we're going to take that. This one is going to take 20,000 LP, so you need a lot of LP in your orb. Uh, I would have got 150 because, well, I just sat here, kind of sacrificed mobs while my big giant eye was building, so it wasn't that big a deal. It doesn't take that long, actually, once you have a mob farm. If you had a better mob farm than me, I didn't really do a good job on it. Uh, it go much quicker. But anyway, there's our draft. We have that. We have our elemental affinity region in our draft Angelus. Let's go back to Iridescent. So we need the resonating gems. They're actually going to be really easy. I'm going to grab four of these aquamarine for now. Do that. Head over to this puppy. And throw it. Oop. If you jump in here, you actually get night vision too. So I actually have night vision right now. But anyway, throw it in there. Um, there's a bug right now with this mod too where it doesn't render. This isn't anything I'm doing. It's actually in there right now. So let's grab the resonating gem. Uh, sorry, resonating wand. Shift right click that. We're going to get some particle effects. And then it may or may not use a bucket of starlight. So yeah, really random. <laughs> kind of go have that. Doesn't look like it actually used one. Do that. And, uh, do another one. Kind of get this done. Might as well grab a couple buckets of starlight here. Oh yeah, I have a tank right here, don't I? That's kind of why I did this. Because uh, yeah, it's totally random here. You just got to kind of watch the water levels really closely. And uh, hope it doesn't do it to you. There we go. Do that gonna go there we go we haven't wasted one yet and uh sometimes it, you, you get on bad runs and you have to do a bucket of starlight like every time then other ones you have you can go i've gone up to 10 recipes without having to replace one so very random it looks like we lost one right here which one's actually gone is it this one sometimes it's hard to tell i think i just wasted a bucket of starlight wait a second i'm confused there's a bucket there for sure bucket there so I did the last one. That's weird. That one's actually missing, isn't it? Oh, I jumped down to nothing. That is weird that the line went over there. Is that normal? I don't think that's normal, man. Let's go ahead and do the last one here. Then I think all we have left is a couple lenses. And we can just get this finished off. And there, we got all our resonating gens. The next part we need are going to be these colored lenses here. 
I need some Stardust, some Diamond, that jazz. I got that. That. I have all the Stardust as well. So let's grab that jazz. Let's check both of them so we have everything. Gas tiers, that. I'm going to need a Diamond. This one is going to need two Resonating Gems. So we actually need two more Resonating Gems and some Pulverized Gold. That is uh, not Pulverized Gold. I thought I had Pulverized Gold. Let's go to Pulv. Yeah, we got some of that. Uh, we also need the Diamond, right? Let's do that. And uh, at the same time, I guess, we're going to go ahead and get this recipe going as well. Grab some Ocarine. Throw that there. There we go. Let that get going. Just figure out this recipe here. <laughs> Gotta take a look. And let's go to Altar. Check out the Iridescent. We need two in the corner. That, that, that. Okay. Oh, I have lenses in there, I think, as well. Okay. Let's see. Stop wanting it, because that might help. Might have to make it nighttime, but uh, we can do that kind of all willy-nilly and free now. So that's not too big a deal. Gas tier, lens, diamond. So let's go. Gas tier, lens, and maybe a diamond. And uh, what's the star metal? Dust or ore? Can't even remember. Dust. Have to grab some dust, I suppose. I think I made a fair amount of dust at one point. Kind of figure that out there. So that needs it to be nighttime. So let's go and uh, I guess right click that puppy. And does that not have enough starlight? Because if that doesn't have enough starlight, that's actually a problem. We'll give that a couple seconds because it kind of builds up. But, uh, we'll go here and, and grab this. See if we lost any of that. Doesn't look like we did. We can go ahead and do our last kind of ocarine here. Just do that. Yeah, when you first turn into the night, the altar isn't actually at max power. I think it takes about a game hour or two uh, before it actually builds up to the max. So I'm hoping <laughs> uh, it's actually enough there. We're showing the fake bar. Yeah, there you go. It. Uh, I knew it was the right recipe, right? So it did the ghost bar. That's awesome. What do we actually need for the next one here? Do that here. So four in the corner, two resonating, two that and that. So that one's actually really easy. So we need... It's four, four, lens, two resonating, and uh, we should be good. Awesome. Okay. There we go. There's our first lens. And, uh, we will need the second one, so let's get that done. I'm probably going to get the resonating in the wrong spot. That's probably the opposite of, the, of what it actually is, but <laughs> that's pretty normal. Try that again. Wait a second. Is that not right? Here it doesn't. Colored right there. Two resonatings, that. Oh, that's illumination powder. That's actually a problem. <laughs> I thought it was pulverized gold. Because I had another recipe that had pulverized gold earlier. There we go. So there's our other lens. These lenses too are just used to you can use them with the um there's like the uh spectral not the spectral relays. So let's go to uh at Astral and look for that thing there. There's like these big lensy things. You can use them for like different effects, so yeah, pretty cool. Like they can break blocks and stuff like that. This one right here, these ones, these lenses, these standy up ones. <laughs> you can aim them in different directions. I've never actually used them, to be honest. But, uh, this one is spectral, which probably means it can pass through blocks. And this one is regeneration, so it can heal things. But anyway, we have everything we need here. So let's actually take a look at the actual kind of multi-block here. So alter. Yeah, see if we can get this gun there. Oh, I need four more resident. Oh, no, I have them right here. They were the four I originally made. Then we can grab that. Throw that right there. Awesome. Guess we need four buckets of starlight. We'll need any kind of marble. We can grab our draft and throw it right there. It goes in the center there. Oh, we need a crystal and we need the regent. Put that there. We could go through one more night. I think we'd still be safe uh, with um, our little setup there. Which is the reactor, because I have quite a buffer now. Kind of get this going. We need four, kind of right there. That'll work. I'm amazed at how much uh, power this altar actually has, to be honest. I was not expecting with just a couple little multi blocks. It used to be much harder, I think, to get starlight than it is now. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, grab some buckets if we have them. We do have two more. There we go. We can grab all the starlight we need. Really easy. And uh, just get that in the altar as well. Awesome. Awesome. I already have the multi-block for the altar done too. 
So I don't really have to worry about that as well. The only thing we had to add were these blocks right here. So these three and these two. So five more per side. That's pretty awesome. And the last thing was, what was going in the center? I'm totally lost. Oh yeah, the crystal. Which I actually have right here. And I'll actually show you once I get this crafting how this goes. So there's one of those crystals there. Take that. Let's throw that inside the altar. Bam. Yeah, just right click that puppy. Hopefully we got enough nighttime. Kind of get that going. Get that going. The actual particle effects on this one's actually pretty spectacular too. Like that is actually insane. Bam. And there we go. This thing should be working as long as I have the multi-block right. What do I have wrong? Wait a second. Oh no. <laughs> What did I do wrong? Let's actually check the book here. I thought I had it right. Here we want the uh, thumb knob gone. No, we want the actual tome. I must have thrown it in here. Here we go. Check that out real quick. Go to, is it constellation? No, yeah, it's in constellation, right? Okay, we go over here, check out the iridescent. Did I not use brick? That's astro sorcery brick. It was obviously working before. <laughs> I don't know what wouldn't be working now because that's the only thing that changes, right? Brick, brick. Make sure I did everything everywhere. I feel like that should be working. <laughs> Let's get it to check again. Maybe I have too much going on here? Huh. Why isn't this working? That's there. This is going to be something really basic. Oh, these don't go up one, do they? Is that what happened? No, that isn't it. It's too tall, then it goes brick and chisel. Brick, chisel, then three of these. I need one more of those brick on every side, then we're good to go. I just put not enough brick. <laughs> there we go. Problem solving. I'm not good at it. Let's go ahead and grab you. Sweet. Put you there. Put you there. I just broke one of my illumination powder. But anyway. There we go. It's going. It doesn't have a lot of starlight, but it's all we need right now. Uh, we should be okay. It's actually going down. I don't know if we can actually craft uh, any of our seeds yet, but technically, the seeds now. We go to, I guess, tier... Tier 5. We may try one of these to see if we have enough power or not, but I should be able to make diamond seeds now. So, if I grab 8 diamond blocks, it would be for 8 of this premium. And then any of the tier 4 uh, essence, we can actually get in a tier 5 crafting seed. We should be able to grit this with a spectral relay. I can't remember if I have an extra spectral relay. It doesn't look like I do. So I am going to have to craft one of those. And, uh, I should show this too. I keep saying I'm going to. Let's go ahead and grab a rock crystal. I just want to show you how to actually grow those crystals that I kind of use there. I'm going to take that. I'm going to actually throw that into one of these holes here. I'm going to grab a bucket of starlight. Sweet. And do I have Stardust on me? I do. I'm going to throw one of those in there as well. Let's try that again. <laughs> Stop that. You're being, you're being difficult. There we go. And then put the Starlight in there. You yeah, notice that it's emitting these little blue particles. That means it's it's going to, they're going to kind of fuse together and create those crystals. And then they go through four growth stages. And once they start emitting these white particles, they're ready to be broken. Uh, and you can actually get one of those kind of crystals out of it that I got there, the Celestials. So you get that and a little bit of Stardust. So pretty cool, pretty awesome. And, uh, that's what I did there to make that. And okay, I went ahead and grabbed everything we need uh, actually to get us the Diamond Seeds. Then realized we couldn't do it. So let's actually go over Diamond Seeds. I'll kind of show you why I couldn't do it here. Some of you probably already noticed and was like, you're a dirt man. Uh, we actually need a Constellation. So we actually need Mineralis. I don't have Mineralis. So we're actually going to have to make the constellation paper because that's how you get them in this pack. You actually have to craft them. So yeah, it's just sitting back there. You can't really see it with the lines, but uh, it's there. Definitely. Let's go over to Mineralis and actually look at the constellation paper. You'll see here it's going to need some parchment, which is just some paper and aquamarine, which I've already made. Then we're going to have to kind of throw all this other stuff in here. Then we're going to have to grab some spectral relays and add certain things to the recipe as it's going. Uh, we're going to grab feathers, some stardust, and some black pigment. I guess we can do that. Need a paper in the center. It was a uh, feather, stardust. Uh, got an ink sack here somewhere, right there probably. Sweet. And then just the flint. And we're probably gonna have to make it nighttime to have enough starlight. Yeah, there. That's how much starlight you need. Just we can just right-click that puppy, make it night again. 
I wanted to be a little day anyway. I kind of left a little time to make sure our fuel was kind of backed up. But, uh, that looks like it's good there. I think we just need to grab these spectral relays. So we're going to grab them. I'm just going to throw them. It doesn't really matter where they go, to be honest. Maybe. I think it's five we need. There we go. And then just right click that puppy. And every once in a while, it should pop up with an item. Yeah, right there. It wants a flint. Uh, we should probably give it one. But then it's going to tell us another item we need. So it's kind of how you do the high end crafting with the iridescent altar. Oh, what is that? Iron? Oh, I didn't grab iron. I should probably grab that. I think it gives you a fair amount of time, too, so you don't have to feel insanely rushed. <laughs> there we go. Which one's next? Next one is going to be an arrow. I actually don't have any arrows. This is all I had in the system, actually. Let me do that. Hopefully we don't need a ton of those, because I'm voiding them off in the mob farm. There's our redstone. Oh, I love those little beams of light. That's pretty cool. It's going to ask for the last item, whatever it is. Oh, it was only four items, actually. That might be it. I might actually finish here in a second. Hopefully. Do your thing. Be done. <laughs> there we go. Got our first constellation paper. That's actually pretty cool. You memorize Disguidia. But Disguidia? I didn't ask for Disguidia. Are they all... Do I have to craft this once every time? Are all these recipes the same? Is that the way that works? I thought we could craft specific ones. I have to sit here and craft every constellation paper before I could even get to this. Wow. Okay. Was not... <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I thought the uh, the recipes were actually specific uh, to every one, but they're not. So I'm going to have to craft one, two, three, four, five, six. I I'll, I'll get it out of the first five or six. It'll be one of the first five or six. Then it kind of unlocks more. Then you can do a bunch more. And then I'll have to do more. Then it looks like they added a couple constellations. Like I don't even know what Alcara or Vorox or Yulterra are. Jelu, I, that one looks normal too. I think they're all regular up to here, like the ones I know. I don't know what these four are at all. But anyway, definitely something going to have to do. And okay, I think I'm going to wrap this one up here. Just going to let everyone know that I do have Discord. You want to stop by, by, say hello, any of that jazz, feel free. Everyone's welcome. Just uh, keep it classy. Also, I do have a Patreon. If you want to think about supporting me moving forward making videos, that'd be absolutely fantastic. But uh, I am going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It is always appreciated. Well, you guys all have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.